Hey, good morning, guys. I just wanted to record this video as kind of like the first video for the guys out there looking to be NYSET Fire Alarms certified. I just took my examination, my level one examination yesterday, and good news, I passed. Um, I wanted to create this video uh, just to give a general idea for the guys that are getting ready to take their examination and um, what, how, how to prepare for it in, in terms of what to study. Um, so the very first thing you want to get your hands on is this, which is the 2013 edition of the National Fire Alarm and Signaling Code, that's NFPA 72. Um, second book you want to get your hands on is the National Electrical Code. Uh, that would be the 2011 edition is the edition that they are, are that the NYSET is examining on at the moment. And that's the 2011 edition. Um, so once you get your hands on the um, NFPA 72 code book, what you want to do is you want to you want to after you 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 know you get familiar with it by reading through it and just looking at the way that the book is structured, right? So if you look at it here. You want to get familiar with the chapters, okay? The the way that the chapters are kind of like um, organized. Um, once you do that, what you want to do is you want to tab them out. So uh, nice, it allows you to tab out the NFPA book as long as the tabs aren't removable, right? As long as they're not like sticky notes, okay? So what <clears throat> what I used was. Uh, this I picked this up at Amazon. It's um, if you search for multi-use labels 5430 It'll come up easily on Amazon and what you do is you know, you just basically write on these tabs uh, And you basically tab out your um Your NFPA book. Okay, so if you look here, this is the way I tabbed it out. Okay, so I got definitions Okay we're just going to get a little closer here. So I tabbed it out, uh, definitions. And then after definitions, I tabbed out um, chapter 10, which is fundamentals. Okay. And after that, um, I tabbed out at the very top here, uh, power supplies. If you're looking up here, power supplies. So, okay. And then I uh, also tabbed out chapter 12 which is uh, circuits and pathways this is where you're going to find class a class b systems um also tabbed out chapter 14 okay which is inspection testing and maintenance and of course the table table 1431 which is visual inspection okay there's a lot of questions on that in the uh, nice at level one exam and also you want to make sure you tab out 14432 table which is for testing okay um, I also tabbed out uh, chapter 17 which is initiating devices and uh, I also tabbed out when the fire alarm boxes begins basically when it begins right you got fire alarm boxes and uh, you want to tab out chapter 18 which is notification appliances okay um, protected premises which is 23 and then over here I have uh, ECS, emergency communication systems, household fire alarms, public emergency alarm, and supervising stations, okay? Also, really, really important is you wanna tab out when the index begins, okay? So the index begins here, okay? So so that's, that's basically it for tabs. Apart from tabs, you know, tabbing out your NFPA 72 code book, you want to highlight important aspects, okay? So, so NYSET allows you to highlight your code book. What it doesn't allow, what does, what NYSET does not allow you to do is write in the book. So make sure you don't have any writing in the book, okay? Before you enter the examination room, um, a security guard will check your code book to make sure you don't have any writing on it. You can, you can highlight it, okay? But you don't want to write in it. Okay, so what kind of stuff are you looking to highlight? Well, you're looking to highlight important things. So try to use two different colors, maybe one color to highlight when a certain um, section begins, like 1021 impairments, and then a yellow one to highlight subsections, like 1021.2. As you can see here, this is the way I highlight it. So that's really up to you, the way you feel as if you 
need uh, you can highlight things but highlighting is extremely important because it lets you locate things right away say for example there's a question on smoke detectors right so you the tabs here the tabs are going to allow you to quickly head on over to initiating devices and then highlighting will allow you to find what you're looking for quickly so here we have smoke sensing firing detector so this is what i want so let's say one of the questions was on the sensitivity of the smoke detectors i can easily find sensitivity right here and then more this this i highlighted this because while reviewing um for the test um i came across a question which allowed me to um which this question was about that so that's why i highlighted it okay Another thing I wanted to bring up really, really important is the index, okay? You want to make sure you highlight the letters, okay? When the letters begin. So this is when A begins, okay? This is when B begins because, you know, taking this nice exam is a lot about how fast, how quickly you can find things in the code book, okay? So that's, um, you know, as you can see, I have... Um, when E begins here, when F begins. So I don't have to be, if I, if I want to find something on, um, uh, let's say for example, um, let's see, uh, uh I'll just pick something out quickly. Um, <laughs> um, notification zones or something like that. Right. I know that notification zones N, so I find N. So now all I have to do is trace notification zones here, and then it says C zones. So that's just kind of like an example of why you want to highlight the letter in the index section. Okay, so that's that's NFPA 72, all right, tabs and things like that. You probably also want to highlight the index. I didn't highlight the index beca uh, the, because... I really, um, I'm really uh, confident with it. In other words, I know where to find stuff in the index. So, you definitely want to, uh, you you definitely want to tab out the index. You know, when index A begins, when the index B begins. To be honest, you're probably only going to have to be familiar with index A, for now at least for uh, for the NICE level one exam. Okay, so index A, you want to be a little bit familiar with it. Okay, um, as far as the electrical code is concerned, as you see, I didn't tab it out. And, and that's because I'm very, very, very familiar with the National Electrical Code. So I really don't, personally myself, I don't need tabs to tell me where to find things. Okay, um, but you want to do the same thing. What you want to do is you want to tab out when articles begin. Um, and because this is fire alarms, you 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 want to tab out specifically Article 760, okay? Article 760 is fire alarms. So you want to make sure that you spend some time um, tabbing out, you know, creating tabs for um, Article 760, okay? So you want to do the same thing we did here using the multi-use labels, okay? You want to tab out Article 760, and you want to use your highlighter to highlight. Um, sections of this uh, article which you know you you found yourself going back to over and over again because you've seen it in some book or you've seen it in some sample questions okay and you want to do the same thing for the index okay so this is basically the first video I wanted to create I, I just took the test yesterday and I did I, I did well in it um, I was pretty confident that I would pass it and I did go ahead and pass it and um, I'm going to cre be creating a couple more videos on this uh, to help the guys out there looking to be certified um, in terms of what to study, how to study, um, what to know, uh, things like that. So look, I, I look forward to uh, uh, to having you in my channel. So and then I'll look forward. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys soon.